Well, today, it's supposed to rain. And it's a bummer because we've had a lot of days recently with rain. And there's so many projects that I want to work on, but I can't do it because of rain. So, um, like the earth right here. Uh, we still haven't finished renovating the exterior of the yurt and we still need to do that. So um, I think today when it actually does start raining, we're going to go window shopping. But last night we introduced, well yesterday we introduced the ducks to a flock, an older flock of chickens and two Muscovy ducks. And last night we introduced some chickens that we got, both the ducks and chickens from Murray McMurray Hatchery into that same flock. So I need to check on them and see how they're doing. The past two days we've also been working on transplanting lettuce here in these beds right here. And these were ones that we did two days ago and these were the ones from yesterday. And I was a little concerned because the trays that they were in, they were dried out and these, I was like, man, I hope they survive. So right now most of them are perking up and looking good. So. Hopefully that, that progress continues to happen. But the chickens and ducks are right down here, just on the bottom portion of the market garden. So far, everybody is looking good. The older flock is just hanging out right up here. And then the younger ones over here to themselves. I don't, I haven't seen anyone actively beating up anybody. They'll still have to work out their pecking order. That's just the way they do it. But uh, let's go ahead and let out the ducks that we put in the duck tractor overnight. They'll get out when they're ready. Still adjusting to the transition of being in and out and into this new area. Oh, I do see one chick, one chicken that got out. So uh, one mistake that I made last night is I forgot to clip their wings before we took them out of the chicken tractor and brought them over here to this area. So uh, some of them will be testing their wings and we'll just have to gradually clip them. So. Uh, Let's see if Sailor will help me clip this chicken's wing right here because it is out. All right. Hey Sailor, would you give me a hand with clipping the chicken's wings? Yes. Come on. Hey, we could dip them. What? <laughs> there you are. That wasn't that bad. Dogs are barking because you're out. All righty. Let's go ahead and clip this wing. All right, there's those scissors. <laughs> Said it doesn't hurt, just clipping these first flight feathers right there. Alter their ability to get up in the air by just one side. All right, see, you just kind of fly down. It's like, what? Oh, look down here, the ducks are out. Right over there, they're out. Told you they'd get out. All right. So while we're here, Sailor, let's just grab a couple of these and clip their wings. Sailor, so can you tell which ones are the newer ones? Yep, they're smaller. Yeah. All right, let's grab some of these. Sometimes you can see if And they're calmer. That's an old one. Oh, older one. Whoops. Oh, that's the one I just did. <laughs> that's the one I just did. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty long right there. They're working out some pecking order over there. 
There we go. Alrighty, older one, older one, older one. You know what? What we'll do is as long as if they jump out today, we'll grab them and do it, clip their wings. But I think we'll wait till later today, tonight, sunset, when they start going back up, and it'll just be easy to grab and clip them then. That sounds like a good idea. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and bust out the chainsaw and start working on the limbing, some more of these branches up there before it rains. And then later on today, I think we're gonna go window shopping for picking out some windows for the earth. Sound pretty interesting to you? Yep. All right, so I've been making a lot of progress. Made more progress than I thought I was going to. It's starting to rain now. I've actually started getting a little workout as I'm moving these logs over. So I'm gonna move a few more over and then uh, start wrapping it up. I'm using an excavator to move the heavy ones, but I'm saving a few for myself to move so I can get some exercise today. One of uh, our followers reminded me that uh, I helped inspire them to remember the principle that Whatever's easiest for us may not be what's best. So uh, something to keep in mind. So it'd be easier for me to move all of these with the excavator, but I'm gonna move a couple by hand safely. And uh, so that way I'm getting some exercise in at the same time. So I'm gonna step it up here, step from my legs. Uh, push it over. Get some squats in, working the back and core. Because if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. <laughs> this one right here is bigger, so I'm going to need to move that one with the excavator. Yeah. All right. Let's get some curls in as we're doing this one. Well, the rain held off a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but it finally came. And I was able to get a lot more done than I thought, but now it's yucky and wet outside. And uh, I had to clean up before we head out to start picking out some windows. You pretty excited about that? Yeah. So we have two windows that we got from the Habitat from Humanity Store, which were almost steals. They were $25. And we're not totally certain on the size that we want, so these windows right over here, these won't be our primary windows, but they were such a good deal. They're $25 for these windows and they're brand new. They haven't even been used. So we're gonna find a place for these, but we're thinking we wanna start with some main windows. I don't know what size were you thinking for the, the main windows. So we're gonna put uh, at least a, a big window here, somewhat big window here and a big window on the other side here which will really pull in some light here in our main living area so um what ideas do you have <laughs> i don't know i just want to go and look and see what they have so one of the things that i was thinking for we have to look at is just kind of getting a rough idea for because we're gonna have to cut through the lattice and then the plywood that's outside so what I'm thinking for the windows is I don't want to go any bigger than 36 inches, especially with the yurt band of curve. I think that would be a good size. And I don't want to go any smaller than 23 inches wide. So somewhere in between that. And I think with the height, if we're, we're building out our casement for windows, I wouldn't want to go probably about somewhere around here would be the height. And then, I don't know, what do you think, Lacey? If that, that might be, I wouldn't go any more than, I don't know, 36 again for the length of these. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. I don't want it to be at a height where little people can hit the window with things. So we're just gonna figure that out. Yeah, so so I'm almost thinking if it was like 36 inches wide by, I don't know, somewhere between 30 and 25. I don't know, maybe somewhere around 30, 32. Yeah. I don't know the, the size of all different windows. <laughs> But we're probably going to have to put the windows down here, not up here. Yeah, so yeah, this would be somewhere right in there. So, we'll have to see what they have. I think I, I'm almost preferring like one of the side sliding windows. What do you think about that? 
I don't know. All I know is I want screens and windows. <laughs> and I want something that I can clean. Easy. Definitely, definitely something that opens and has a screen and where you can let air in, and but you can also let some natural light in. So uh, we're just gonna have to go see what they have. Just a little chilly out here, isn't it? Is it working today, Sailor? Daddy! 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 <laughs> Don't you have one of those? Can I Don't start it up. You did that before, remember? <laughs> you remember you did that to ours and it scared you? <laughs> Do you remember when Micah started the launch tractor? That was crazy, wasn't it? Wow, that was crazy. It's an electric riding mower. It looks like a go-kart, doesn't it, Josiah? Yeah. <laughs> know what size this one is. Hi guys! I'm in my house. See you on here? So this is one of the side sliding windows that I was talking about. I don't know if that'd work or not. Just an option. Like How do you like the the side ones? Side sliding ones. I don't know. I don't know. I like them. We're gonna just pull one of these out and just kind of look at it. Stay back, guys. The. Six by twenty-three. Put this looking out. Probably somewhere about right there. Uh, what do you think? I like that one. I don't mind that. I almost wish there was something a little bit shorter than the thirty-six. You know, like a thirty-two. It'll be as wide. Yeah. Hey Michael, why don't we pull out one of these right here that's twenty-four by twenty-three just to look at? All right. Let me put this one back first. Put things back where you found them. Keep everything organized and in order, right? That's right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Daddy, see ya. Oh. That's a 23, whatever that is. Yeah, it's a 24 by 23. Mommy, I am oh. Yeah, but it will probably be a little hang lower than we, we'd have to hang it lower Dad, than that. Dad, you got a wall in it. I wish there was something like in Dad, between the two. Yeah. I think we'd have to like special order it for that. I wonder, is that an option to special order to custom sizes? Yeah, it's an option. Just sometimes it costs more to do that, but we can add Whoa. Yeah, because I almost want something in between the two. The 36 is a little too long for the side of our our yurt. The 23, well, 20, is, a 23 is just a little too short. I almost want like a 28 or something like that. Yeah, I agree. What are you doing over here? You want to show me? What do you want to show me? Who's in there? What's the consensus here? It looks like it's hard to get a double hung window um, shorter than 35 and a half inches in, in, the, in the height. My biggest concern would be the curvature of the yurt and making sure we don't get one too wide so it's messing up with the curvature and it's going to be harder to install. Well, we could always do it similar to the way the door is and it just has, um, I guess, whatever you want to call it, the flamed out part curvature wood that you've cut and made to go around it to make it fit. So um, that'd be a little bit more work, but it could definitely be done, just like the door. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What, a cookie? I want a cookie? Uh, I do want a cookie. 
Thank you. So yeah, this is the, the 36 is just a little bit taller than I'd want it to be, and this is just a little short. So I definitely would want something maybe like in between the two of them. Like I said, the only thing I worry about is the curvature, and I think if we try to have windows that are too wide, we're going to run into having water problems and it not, you know, shedding water correctly. Yeah, because the the manufacturers for the year they make their, their windows and they're curved, yeah, uh, which would cost significantly more to do the curvature. So yeah, we just have to keep that in mind, not going too wide or the side and yeah. windows probably won't work in this yeah. case. And those windows, they're they're close to, I think I've looked them up before, they're like a thousand dollars a piece. So what, when we get, you guys aren't used to having real windows, when we get windows, you're just gonna be lifting them up and down all day long? Yep. Yeah, but I think we'll get the problem, I think so too, can't go out the window. <laughs> All right, guys. All righty, well, it's raining again, and it's actually even forecasted to snow here in a little bit. So it would be our first snow of this winter season. We haven't had any snow yet, and I've actually seen some places in Missouri that have had snow a couple times, and uh, thankfully we have not. But uh, weren't able to find the windows the size that we want at Home Depot while we were there. So uh, we're looking here on their website and have been able to find two types of windows uh, that we're considering going with. We have 24 by 30 inch, and that's just a single hung. You raise up the window just like that vertically. And there's also one that is 31 and three quarters by 23 and three quarters, and that's one of the side sliding windows. And here in our bedroom is another room that we would be putting the windows in. So what was the measurements on those windows again? For the side sliding window, it was um, 31 and 3 quarters wide. wide. So it would be like that big. By what? By, what was that again? 23 and 3 quarters. So here, 31 by what? 20. 23 and 3 quarters. So essentially, this big. Yeah, I kind of like this facing on that. Where's your mark here? So there is no mark. It's it? from that. that stood. The inside That's of that. That's a nice, stood. nice view there. And then the other window, which you raise it up vertically, is 24 inches wide by 30 inches high. 22. Well, 24 is about right there. By how many? By 30. By 30. It's about that size. So it gives you more like the classic TV look, the, the four by three look. You're just looking straight on. It's like you got more of the wide screen going with the the side opening window. Yeah. I kind of like the wide screen. It gives me a nice view right outside, and just right outside here is the pond. So I can see the pond and the ducks just look right out. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I actually liked it whenever we had our other windows in here and you could see a bunch outside. And actually when we lived in the city, we had uh, windows that opened from the side and they were more upright. So uh, I kind of like when we had that. <laughs> what do you think, Sayla? What kind of windows would you want? More like the widescreen look or more like the old screen TV that you don't even know about? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, in one of the rooms, we, we used to have one of those TVs. You remember that TV that was more of a square shape? And now we have the, the rectangle widescreen TV. It's a lot easier to watch things on the widescreen, isn't it? So imagine having the widescreen 
in our window. So you can for watch farm wide, TV. There you go, farm TV, widescreen. <laughs> in surround sound. <laughs> So I have to see if I can convince them anymore to go with the side opening windows. I think that would be pretty cool. Well, we're going to place our order here pretty soon once we come to a decision. So uh, you just have to stay tuned and see the windows we get. And then once we start installing them, I can't wait. So make sure you subscribe so that way you can follow along and know when we put in these windows in the shirt here. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.